Hi, this is just one more test. Now, I know I've done a few of these so far, and uh, believe me, um, I think I finally got the camera the way I want it to be. This is the Canon EOS Rebel T4i, and what I'm showing you, and I've learned today, is how to get a really good remote focus system. Uh, the problem with the T4i is although it is the first attempt from Canon to have an autofocus in video mode, uh, the autofocus is distracting and annoying, which is to say if I were to move around normally with the AF servo mode turned on, you get this really distracting focus in, focus out that is, in fact, I'll turn it on right now and you'll get a feel for it. Uh, right now it's on, which is great. If I can move around, it will grab a focus, right? It's doing that. And if I move out of the picture for a little bit and then I move back, it's, it's, it's starting to refocus. And then if I get back in, it's gonna play in and out and in and out. And if I'm kind of staying at the same distance, but look at what it's doing because of that AF servo thing. So if you, you, what you wanna do is turn that sucker off doing that with the touch screen right here. But then the problem is you might be out of focus. Not until I hit my new magic button that I discovered today. This is my magic little uh, Pixel. In fact, this is a Pixel Enterprises. I got this on Amazon today. Um, and what it lets me do is every time I hit this little button, it focuses the camera. Now, it wasn't designed to do that. This is actually just a standard wireless 2.4 gigahertz remote control. By the way, this one runs on AAA batteries, which a lot of them don't. Um, a lot of them use a proprietary battery, which I really don't want to have to get into. Um, but this one it uses a standard AAA battery, so that's why I got it. There's a little uh, receiver on the camera. The camera, by the way, is not in remote mode to make this work. It just works all the time because it's wired in. Uh, when you hit the button normally, uh, when shooting pictures, hold it halfway, pre-focus, hold it all the way, you get a picture. It has different slides on there for multi-shot, bulb, and timer, and so forth. But the point is, when you're using it in video, what I discovered is it will not start the camera. If I hit the button normally, you would expect it would start the camera taking the picture and stop it. But instead, what I've noticed is if I get close, of course with the servo off, it won't focus. But with this remote, what it does do is it locks it in. Now you'll notice I, I was drastically out of focus and only moved a little bit because I'm intentionally using a 1.4 aperture with an F, uh, with a with a ISO of only 200. So I, I, I just needed lots of a, a really big opening, but it gives you a very narrow depth of field, which means I'd be out of focus if I move around just even two feet. Well, not with my magic button. I pushed the magic button and there I am. I'm sharp as a tack. Uh, anyhow, the problem I also learned is if you get this little gadget and it does give you this new power to be able to move around and not have that problem before where it suddenly is just going in and out and, and look and it just looks weird. Well, the thing is, if you get the Canon remote, the RC6, there's a little slider on the back, which if I go over here, you might actually be able to see it. If I put it in my little focus, focus area, uh -huh. okay, I'm trying. Work harder there. Ah, oh, there it goes, it's trying. It shows you the focus is not as magic as I thought. Oh, oh I had it. It's hard to do this remote. Well, there it goes. Well, it's almost there. You know what, I'll, I'll, I'll help it. I'll move it. <laughs> Anyhow, there's a little slider on the back. Uh, you know what it is, I'm trying to get too close to a 1.4 uh, opening right now, and it's not a macro lens, it's, it's, a, it's a 50 millimeter lens. Anyhow, uh, when the switch is in the two position, it will start and stop the video. Now, if you don't want to have both remotes, which this one I use to start and stop the video, and this one I use whenever I just want to have my magic focus, because if I want to do that, and I want it, uh, there it goes, it kind of nailed it. Um, I, I use this remote anytime I move drastically out of the picture. Of course, normally I can just pretty much stay and move around here. I'm just intentionally throwing myself into a totally different focal area. But the thing is I got rid of that in that terrible zoom in, zoom out, trying to, to, to find the focus. So even though sometimes I might not be in focus, all I gotta do is hit the button to change my focus and it'll snap back, but it won't change the lens while I'm shooting. So it won't be just because I moved a little to the left or a little to the right, it won't throw that annoying, it's blurry eye look. So uh, 
keep this on hand. It's wireless. It's not infrared. I can keep it behind my back. I can put it anywhere I want, and it won't interfere with the shot. If I want to start and stop, I use the Canon RC6. And by the way, when you put it into the one position and you push the button, uh, you could also use that if you wanted to do a pre-focus and you don't buy two remotes. So what you would do is you would, you would put this into the one position. You would start your video by taking a picture. It would then lock the focus. And then once it's locked the focus, you can then slide it back to the two position, start and stop your video. So that's what that's doing. And by the way, in case you're curious, uh, my setup here, I'm using a, uh, a Zoom H4n for my sound, a Canon T T4i uh, for the camera, a Pixel Enterprises Limited Opti Op 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 Optas, Optas E3 for Canon. That's what they call this thing. And the RC6 remote and uh, the microphone is a Shure. You might not be able to see it because it's kind of low, but it's a Shure lavalier microphone. So this hopefully is my last test and now I should be able to use my, oh, by the way, this is a green screen and uh, well, it may be something here if I want to play with it, but that's how it works. Now I'm going to turn the off button.